much for coming to New York just for this film series. <laughs> Are you jet lagged? No. <laughs> Okay. I, I will be when I go back. Okay. Come here. I don't think if you fly this direction and anyway, you will have the film is jet lagged. No? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, very interesting that you have chosen to deal with the subject of a rocky marriage in jet lagged mode. And um, it's interesting to see the film moving in between dream and reality. You are never quite certain what actually happens and what doesn't happen. Can you talk about why you decided to treat it that way? Um, I think it's, it's interesting because <clears throat> it, I think this, this feeling of, of you're not sure what is a dream, what is the reality? It came, I think, by accident. Because in the script, it was quite clear. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, when we made the film, um, it, I think, I think it happens in, during the editing. That um, you try different things, and and this is what happens, and we like it. So so we so we so we kept going in that direction. You write you write you write a script for a film, and then you go out and shoot another film. I think in one film you can make three films. You can make three times. You, you write it one time and then you, you shoot it. When you shoot, you're kind of rewriting what you wrote. And I think when you edit, you, you're reshoot, redirecting what you directed. Does that make sense? Yes. So when you look at it again, do you feel that, well, I want to do something different now? Oh, absolutely. That's why I didn't come to watch. <laughs> because it happens to me every time I watch my own film, is that you always want to change things. And, does, you know, does it explain why your films seem to get more and more mysterious? <laughs> I don't know. That I don't know. Uh, well, I make films whenever I can, you know, whenever I have a, an opportunity to make, which means that when I have some idea to say something, and that when somebody give me money. <laughs> so when the two things come together, you make a movie. And you cannot have one without the other, and you don't have a movie. So so then, when the two things come together, then you make a movie. And I think you cannot control when when that would happen. You know, like you want to make a movie this year, but you don't have an idea, then you cannot make it. You know, or you have an idea, but you don't have the money. Then it got delayed to another year or whatever. Sometimes you don't want to make a film this year. For example, this year I didn't want to make a film, I wanted to live a normal life. And something happened and I have, now I'm making a movie. So, so you cannot control, and I think um, what happened is that so when you, when you go and make a movie, it depends on at that time when you make the movie, what happens in your life a year before, or two years before, or what's happening now. What, what what you might be interested in last year it may not be what you're interested in now then the same script can be affected by that because you know you're all it's
fact, this is a good example because um, when I wrote the script for Troy, I was not, I was more into writing a script where it has stories, you know. But when I got to make the film, I was no longer interested in, in content anymore. I was, then I became more interested in sound and, and atmosphere, you know. So that's why I think you might explain what you asked before, like whether you're not sure it's a dream or it's a real thing. Because I was not interested in, 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 in that. Whether it's a dream or it's real, it doesn't matter to me. I just want to make this atmosphere. I want to, make, I want to keep the camera at this distance. And, you know, so, so I think it, it depends, you know, maybe next year my, my film will not be mysterious at all. <laughs> Maybe a Clint Eastwood film, Clint Eastwood film or something. And it, 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 it depends. Now that you mentioned sound, the sound um, design of this film is very, very interesting. You can hear some kind of drone, and then in the middle of the night in the hotel, they, you can kind of hear street noise. And it's sometimes. It's airport noise. Huh? It's airport noise. Airport noise, yes. We, we, we put it in the bedroom. Uh huh. And can you talk about why you decided to do that? Well, the couple is jet lag, you know, so we thought... Let's mess with their brain. Yeah, we thought we would not do... Yeah, we have... Because I travel a lot, you know, and I'm in this condition a lot of time. Now I don't have jet lag anymore because I'm so used to it. But when I, when I was able to have jet lag, Um, sometimes you ask me a question, I, I could not answer for one minute. You know, I, I was thinking of something else, or, you know, <laughs> or I, could, I could hear somebody uh, uh, winding or a watch somewhere here more than I can hear you. It, it's very strange. Yes. <laughs> And we, we thought we'd try to do that. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm not like 100% happy with it, but, but I think we went in the right direction you know, to, to create this kind of like dream, uh, blurry, kind of a bit half conscious mm -hmm. feeling with the sound, you know, which we continue in our film after this. We made another years ago. Nymph. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that one, we shot the whole film in the forest and that really allows to, and it's a horror, not a horror film, it's a ghost movie, so we, really, so we kind of like, use this as an um, test, mm -hmm. experiment. So. Can you talk about um, just opposing a long time couple who don't seem to have sex and anymore? The music is very interesting. <laughs> Because you're listening to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just talking about you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 The music is very interesting because we, we thought we would have music, but then we thought we would have the kind of music where when the music comes, the audience will not notice it. Yes. You know, when, like, then suddenly you realize, oh, there's music there. But it, it, it came a long time ago. And then when it, when it goes away, you don't really realize that it goes away. So it's, that, that's also, so the music is, is no, no longer music, it becomes part of the sound. 